During our research, we looked at the conventions of pop genre music. From this, we find that common pop videos include bright lighting. This is because bright lighting is aesthetically pleasing to the audience. We have conformed to this convention throughout by only filming one scene indoors. We have used bright lighting in both the narrative and performance aspect to our music video, but in different ways. In our performance aspect, we have used high-key lighting as a result of filming an indoor studio with overhead spotlights. By using high-key lighting in our performance, it appears that the artist is actually on stage performing. This immediately brings a professional look to our end product. Whereas in our narrative aspect, we have used a camera that has a shallow depth of field in order to emphasise the bright and vibrant street art in our character's surroundings. This contrasts effectively with the other character's location as the use of wide shot enables the audience to recognise the contrast between the two locations, reflecting the difference in their backgrounds and upbringing. Another convention we found of pop videos was the use of young performers. This is because the typical demographic of pop videos is 11 to 21 years. We chose to reflect this in our own music video to appeal to our target audience as we have gathered from our focus group that a young target audience prefers to view young performers so that they can relate to the character's situation or circumstances. An additional convention of pop videos is the representation of different social groups. This is done to convey an enhanced sense of reality to the target audience. They would appreciate this because they should be able to identify with the characters in the video and see something of themselves within them. Reality is heightened so that there is a sense of aspiration to be like the characters. We have used our male character to represent the typical high class ABC1 who are generalised as someone from middle to upper class and is usually highly educated and in a high social economic position. We have used our female character to represent UK tribe's social group of urban stylers. These people tend to be people who have embraced the inner city lifestyle without conforming to mainstream and is happy with their own individuality. We feel that we have challenged gender stereotypes by doing this, as presenting the female as someone who is strong and streetwise and the male as someone who is smart and intelligent. Our target audience will recognise this and find it appealing to witness media institutions challenging this conventional stereotype. In our research, we found music videos either use performance, artistic or narrative aspects or a combination of these. When watching You Don't Know How Lucky You Are by Keaton Henson, we found that although the single narrative shot was emotionally provocative, we strayed from this as our focus group advised us to have elements of humour which wouldn't work well with an emotional video. In our music video, we chose to use both narrative and performance aspect. We did this because the contrast between the narrative and performance was clear to the audience, yet we connected the beat of the narrative to the tone of music. We also thought that this was better than using an artistic aspect, as the audience could relax and enjoy the narrative without struggling to work out what it meant and the message behind it. During our research, we looked into Andrew Goodwin's theory of music videos. From this, we chose to emulate his theory that in pop videos, the music should match the visuals. We were encouraged to do this from watching Taylor Swift's video, Shake It Off, as it demonstrates this. We have done this by matching the beat of the music with the pace of the footsteps and the timings of the cuts. However, we chose to challenge this theory of having the lyrics match the visuals, which Taylor Swift also presents in her music video, Shake It Off, as we didn't want to feel restrained to what we could achieve when working on our narrative. Goodwin also suggests that there should be a use of intertextuality in music videos. We have done this through having the media platform of YouTube, which is shown at the end of our video. Whilst we have also used this to promote our video, it shows our modern audience, who are digital natives, that we are embracing new media technology. We also followed his proposal that demands of the record label would want close-up shots of the artist to establish an increased brand identity. We have done this by having close-ups of our artist Lawson in a suit and with a microphone. We did this in order to promote this as a signature look that an audience can identify with. Another theory we researched was Laura Mulvey's gaze theory, which presents the idea that music videos sexualise women by assuming that the camera is a heterosexual man. It also proposes that women can either be presented as a pure virginal woman or as a whore, called the virgin whore dichotomy. We deliberately departed from this convention because we wanted to challenge patriarchal views and conceptions in order to gain respect from our developing target audience. Just let it be.